Hello guys, welcome back to more wrestling videos with me and her and today I will bring you last night's full wrestles for Monday Night Raw. So, Raw started with that all superstar of WWE was standing in the entrance of Raw uh, to give a 10 bell salute to the great late, to the great man, Hall of Famer, Roddy P. Piper. Uh, after that 10 bell salute, uh, WWE showed a video tribute for Roddy P. Piper. Uh, I really thought that the tribute video was very good. Um, they showed uh, great, you know, matches with Roddy Piper and his, you know, Piper's pits uh, in the news and you know all that good stuff that Roddy Piper did in the WWF at the time. Uh, after that tribute was uh, shown, uh, Ross started with Seth Rollins comes out and he has a very good shirt, uh, his new shirt to mock Ian Cena and I will show it right now. Uh, Rowan says that there is only one person that can slow him down right now and that is Seth Rollins. Uh, Seth Rollins talks about you know his loss against John Cena's last week. Uh, say, he's saying that it, it, it that it won't happen again. Uh, Rollins has a proposal for John Cena that John Cena will face Seth Rollins in a title match at uh, SummerSlam. Uh, but for tonight's Raw, uh, Rollins had a really good idea to have a WWE World Heavyweight Champion Open Challenge tonight, and he actually wanted to face uh, El Torito, but um, instead, you know, Adrian uh, or sorry. Instead, you know, Neville comes out to take the challenge. Um, so here we go. The first match starts, and um, the opening match is Neville versus Seth Rollins in a WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. And oh boy, I mean, this match was epic. You know, you have two of guys that is so good in the ring. I mean, both Seth Rollins and Neville are really great wrestlers. They have, you know, they did like amazing moves, and I think it was like. Um, uh, multiple times, you know, when uh, the fans and and you know fans actually thought that you know Neville was going to win because uh, there was like they did you know ha so good moves that I mean this was one of the best opening match of Raw that I you know I've ever seen. So thumbs up to WWE for this match because this match was epic. But unfortunately, which we know. Um, um, uh, Neville uh, didn't win because Seth Rollins uh, beat Neville, but this match was, in my opinion, a really good match. I mean, it was a very good, awesome opening match. After that, we saw the second match uh, for tonight, and that is Lucha Dragons and Los Matadores versus Destination and New Day Rocks. And as always, you know, Primetime Player is on the commentary. For some strange reason, Primetime player is yet again on the commentary, and if you watch, you know my latest um, SmackDown uh, results last week. I gave my you know opinions about you know primetime players being on the commentary and what my opinion on the ascensions. But um, this match is uh, uh, is a rematch because this happened on last week's Friday night as well. But this time uh, the ascensions and new. The Rocks uh, actually defeated uh, Lucha Dragons and Los Manadores. So we continue. Then we had the third match for tonight, and it was the first uh, Divas match for tonight. We saw the Bella Twins versus uh, Bicky Lynch and Charlotte. Uh, what can I say about this match? This match was pretty damn good in my opinion. Um, uh, you know this match, you know, went back and forth, but uh, Becky Lynch and Charlotte defeated the Bella Twins, and uh, Charlotte um, looked uh, locked and Nikki Bella in hit in her finisher, that figure eight, uh, for the win. And I thought this match was pretty good because you know Becky Lynch and Charlotte they are very good talents. Um, so yeah, I'm really liking you know to see them you know in a WWE ring. After the match, we saw. I interview with Jojo interviews Team Bad. Um, the Naomi says that it's time to make a statement and challenge Paige tonight in one-on-one -on -one match tonight as well. And they talking you know, back and forth, like you know. And 
After that, we saw Miss TV. Uh, Miss is in the ring, and he welcomes us to the second most must see and must see WWE talk show. Uh, Miss TV, of course. He gives his credit where he's due and saying that Piper, Piper, Roddy P. Piper will be missed. Where's the Miss? <clears throat> and I also should mention that Miss tonight was actually wearing a kilt, which was pretty good, awesome, because you know, I didn't say this uh, in the first video, but. Uh, the manager and you know Miss, they had all had you know um, had already P Piper show tonight to um, give some respect to him. Uh, Miss guest tonight was Kevin Owens and um, Cesaro. Uh, Miss asked uh, why Ork. Uh, <laughs> Sorry guys. Miss asked why Owens had a beef with Cesaro, and Owens said that Cesaro is jealous of him. Uh, as Owen starts to talk about his accomplished action hero Cesaro comes out and that dude looks like a beast because Cesaro I mean he comes out like a beast with you know his suits and all the guy kind of stuff so Cesaro gets in the ring and um, Cesaro says that he wants a, a front front row seat to walk Owen's walks promo um, after that you know Owen cuts to the case and saying that Cesaro is jealous of him because Owen has succeeded uh, more which is you know uh, succeed more than you know Cesaro has um, he also said that he will never be as good as Owens and his native wrestling ability um, Cesaro says that he's not jealous of Owens instead he, he is ashamed for Owens because he always walks away from the fight Cesaro calls his uh, calls this a completely show of disrespect for Owens and quite frankly, you know, Owens is an embarrassing from for the business, which he is not because Owens is a very good wrestler. But anyway, um, you know, Owens, you know, is going, you know, is leaving the ring, but um, uh, he taught, he puts, he did, you know, he pushed Miss to Cesaro. Then you know, uh, Kevin Owens tries to you know attack him, uh, so Owens goes for a pop a power bomb, but he fails. Then Cesaro tries to do his, you know, uh, swing, but uh, but Owen, uh, but Kevin Owens escape. Can't talk. I don't know more. Then we saw, in my opinion, one of the worst matches for tonight, and that was Rusev versus Mark Henry. <sighs> what can I say? Nothing special here. Um, Rusev defeated Mark Henry. <sighs> not nothing, you know, not a special match. I thought this match was really boring, like a piss break, <laughs> in my opinion. And after that, we saw a Bray Wyatt promo. Uh, he cuts a promo, you know, talking about Roman Reigns, you know, talking shit about him, and blah blah blah. blah you know, he, you know, Bray Wyatt's normal promo. But after Bray Wyatt uh, had to cut a promo, Roman Reigns, actually Luke Harper had the promo right now too, and he was focusing to rim. He was focused towards Dean Ambrose, and he was telling him that he made a huge mistake by helping Re Roman Reigns. And after that, for some strange reason, uh, Seamus drops into the, you know, the Mystery Abyss and tells us that Randy Orton has a broad kick in his future. Uh, after that, you know, Bray Wyatt drops the, the enemy of my enemy is my friend line and calls, you know, Seamus his friends for tonight. And after that promo, we see Long and Z, Zack Ryder versus King Barrett. And before this, you know, match started, um, Barrett cuts you know a promo asking where Zack Ryder's internet crowd is before calling him worthless. Uh, after the promo, you know the match started and this was a uh, short match. Um, King Barrett defeated uh, Zack Ryder. Nothing special there. After that match, we saw uh, Paul Heyman cuts a damn good promo and. Um, Talking about Brock Lesnar and blah, blah blah blah, and after that, you know, Brock Lesnar comes out to the ring, and it, you know, the Beast returns back to Raw, and um, they gave, you know, they talked about Undertaker, and Paul Heyman, you know, said this time Taker won't leave in an ambulance uh, after a match at Survivor Series, and you know, you, if you watch this promo, you can actually tell that pr Paul Heyman was so into this promo, you know, because he was, you know, fired up, and I really like you know Paul Heyman's promos because he's one of the best heels ever I mean without him as a uh, Brock Lesnar's manager 
Brock Lesnar would never be as huge as he is right now because thanks to Paul Heyman, I mean Brock Lesnar is the beast the current, you know. But uh, if you know Brock Lesnar didn't have Paul Heyman as manager, uh, then you know there would they wouldn't be you know the beast Brock Lesnar there is today. And after that we saw the second matches for tonight and that was Paige vs Naomi. I have to be honest here, to be frankly, you know, this was not a good match at all and you know, sorry guys, but that's how I'm going to say. Uh, Paige gets the win with, you know, the Scorpion cross lock, so Paige defeated Naomi. After that in the match, we saw interview with Stardust and Eden, in in Eden interviewed Stardust and as always, you know, Stardust made a uh, weird promo, you know, talking about Neville and you know, uh, you know, his woo woo shit, you know. And after Stardust leaves, uh, Eden gives her best what the fuck look to a Stardust promo. I don't know. After the interview, uh, WWE is showing that Step and uh, Amil of Arrow will be on Raw next week. And now come and finally, we will see Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns cut a promo before the match on Luke Harper and Bray Wyatt. Ambrose quotes uh, Ray P. Piper by saying that they're 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 here to shoot bubblegum and kick ass and Ambrose spits out his gum and they are a bubblegum bubble uh, after that you know Reigns goes to kick uh, Bray Wyatt's ass and suddenly you know Orton comes in and tells the bros that uh, he should you know fight with um, Sheamus and now finally comes the main event for tonight and that is Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns and Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt Luke Harper and Sheamus. Uh, all through, you know, this match, this match started fairly slow. Um, this definitely don't de de develop into the un as usual insanity that uh, prevents their these tag team matches. You know, Range looked especially good in my in here in this match. In my opinion, um, he, when he you know he when he started to take out everybody. Uh, the match eventually ends after Roman Reigns spear Sheamus right after Randy Orton RKO's Wyatt. And um, yeah, the match is ending. Uh, the face stands tall to the end, to end, you know, Monday Night Raw and, uh, you know, Raw ends and they talk about, you know, Stone Cold will have a podcast with Paige on the WWE Network. So yeah guys, that was the full results for last night's WWE Raw. Uh, in my opinion, this Raw was not the best, and it was not the worst. Uh, you could watch it, but um, there was some good matches here, but then it was, you know, uh, some bad matches. But uh, I must say this before I end the show, um, there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of, you know, commercial breaks in, you know, Raw. Because I don't know how much commercial they had, I mean... You know, they had, say, like a 5 minutes match at start, then they had like a 10 minute uh, break, which is insane. Uh, which is insane, um, because uh, Roy is, you know, in 3 hours, but uh, with, you know, all the commercials, you know, it feels like uh, there's like more ads than it's, than it's, you know, matches, so, I don't know, guys. But yeah, that's the show guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe and um, comment if you like the show or not, uh, so yeah, and I'll see you in the next video, have a nice day, peace guys.